today. It's gonna be setting in an hour or so, hour or two. We're using a yellow Zewa SP Mino in the day, looking for striped bass. They seem to be on it. All right, that yellow minnow seems to be be on. So, doing the day session, I'm really here for the night. Oh, he's a little bigger, I think. Doing the day session. Wow, that's a nice one. This is one of my other videos. We talked about drag a little bit. I want to wipe the lens. Sorry. Uh, make sure your drag set. Actually, I'm using the day one minnow. Yellow. SP they own them out. and uh, I think one old hooks the three X hooks the hardware on there is original um, so I fish with a lighter drag uh, if you're not sure you don't want to over drag um, it'll prevent that fish from see a little bigger wait for the next one he is He's in there. Oh, he's close. Yeah, about stock size, about 28. 28, 29. Again, I like to get my fish a safe distance from that surf. You're more than welcome to jump around in the water. I do not advise it. Let me get this guy. this guy first. Watch your hands. Get this guy a second. I'm going to let him go. So again, I think the surf is most interesting. Uh, Like I said, I talking about you should go down knee deep to release your fish. Well, I go to a safe zone where I know I can get that fish and go swim away. Uh, I wouldn't go past that white water right there 100%. And actually, I am not going to go any further than this. And he's going to take off just fine. A little way. I would not go past that. The daytime, <clears throat> sun setting. And I'm working with the day one minnow. They seem to be on the end of that can. So I just had a little tip. Hooks are sharp, most important. Actually, those are new hooks. Wow, he ripped that right on the. Is he off? No, he's on. He's on. Whoa, whoa! What is that? Then he's kind of fighting like a bull. Oh. Oh, he took that right on the lip, and that's one of those smaller fish, that, I think. And they're right on that lip, those little guys. And if you had a teaser on, I am sure you'd be hitting those guys left and right. I'm not fishing a teaser. Not today. Get him on his way. But today we're working... The yellow, got the yellow day over minnow. He's definitely a short. That's for sure. These little guys are wild. Be careful. Always be careful with everything. You surf. The hooks. Fishing. It's the age old. Most dangerous profession. Okay. I'm on his way. Again. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Slow oh, down, bud. Oh, I just hit the rod. Went through the bag a little bit. Got to the yellow SP middle. 
came across some fish and caught a few striped bass on the Dayo Minnow again. The Dayo Minnow been hot, so stick to what works. Might do some things later. I thought I might have had to use a teaser today, but I'm not. I'm just gonna fish that Dayo Minnow straight. Whoa. See their drag is ripping. I want that. I want. I want that fish to run. I'm gonna help that. Your hardware, also your fishing reels. You won't lose your anti reverse if you don't over drag. Even the biggest fish at all comes to play in the rod that we're using. Just hanging in that current. He was tight on the lip, this guy. And I'm actually getting casting a bit past that. I'm cast now. I just want to see if I can intercept something bigger coming through. But they're definitely tight on the lip. Ooh, those are nice currents. Tight, tight, tight fishing, daytime fishing. Like I said, if you dropped on a teaser, you'd be really, really breaking them in. They're doing all the same. Yeah, he was tight on that lip. Like I said, those fish, those fish tight on that lip. Or those smaller guys, it seems. It's just been that way, and it usually is that way. Slow down, slow down. Fires away. I mean, there's, there's sand on him. That sand will come off. You worry about the slime? That slime's like snot. Replacing itself. I'll show you why those fish are kind of here. There's things we could do. We'll be definitely, I could I, uh, catch uh, two to one more if I was doing certain other things. All right, please. Um, but there's a reason why I'm, this is like, they're kind of hanging tight here. There's a little point that comes out here. And there's a little bit of a point that comes out there. So there's a narrow, very narrow spot and any fish kind of moving in, hanging out, are going to be tight and concentrated. When they go on the feed, you're just going to get them there. That's a matter a lot of time with those bass. They got to be on the feed. And they got to be there, and then it's all up to you. All right. Hooked up here. It's daylight, and he seems like he's okay. There's been a bit of smaller fish around, and uh, I've been working with the Dewa SP minnow, and it's been working great. He went for that yellow. Let's see what he's all about. Got to get him in first. I'm using a, my ambassador today. That's an ambassador 6501. I got the paddle handles on today. I gotta tweak out my other one. Let's see what he is about. I'm gonna get a look at him. He took that yellow minnow. Wow. He looks like a keeper. Oh yeah, he is. That's a beauty. He's in there. He's walking and surf. Just oh, be a little short. No, he's... Oh, he's in there. I'm gonna get him up. The water's welling back and forth. We're gonna unhook him. And we just got doing a day session here. We have a little bit of light. 
we're gonna see what, what's going on in the light. And we're gonna do a night session. That's what I'm here for tonight. But the day's all the same. Let me get this. Looks like he's in there. That might... I was just thinking about using teasers too. Let's see how that hook is through. Sorry, bud. Well, I have a rod up here. Okay. We'll get him on his way. Let's see. So it's about eight. That's sixteen. Twenty-four. Yeah, he's about in there. So I'm gonna get him on his way. And just be careful out there. Uh a good conversation. They say to release striped bass, you should go knee deep. Well, where's knee deep? Water's below my feet now. About two seconds is gonna be up to my waist. Keep your eye on the surf. You're more than welcome to walk out there and let that fish go. But I wouldn't go past here myself. And I advise you not to. Quite a rod you have. Yeah, yeah, they're out. <laughs> Gets it out there, so. Yeah. You too, thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> they're just tight, they're tight. I'm gonna move like that. They are tight today. Ooh, really nice clarity for the water. I can see the fish in the wave, from the right wave. It's just a little stain. Perfect, perfect, perfect for yellow. Perfect for yellow. Wow. There's a heavy current there. I would not stand below there. I advise you not to go that that is all in for a fish. Boy. I might move. I might move about. Flyer's handy. I mean to be smaller average in fish today. that there's treble hooks we're using and I will be using treble hooks until they ban treble hooks that they will come and enjoy them while we can trend in fishing seems to be taking away fishing so enjoy the fishing while you have it while we still can fish people will slowly pick away hooks all the way into the fish you can. and there'll be no more fishing. Probably a couple hooks until they're banned too. Fairly nice striped bass fishing today. They're tight on the yellow, the yellow day or minnow. Uh, 
kind of took a walk, went through the bag, just waited, waited for the fish to be on the on, do a few different things, and they got on the on. And they were taking the day on the on. Fast fishing, bottle, coolie, a couple fish pretty close in there. Give or take, I can call them fishing the line deeper. Walk forward. Let's get this striped bass in. Oh, yeah. Maybe night will bring some bigger fish. Seems to be. These little guys are just all over that way. be careful when you're releasing your fish. You don't want to go in. It's kind of like white, swelly, edgy water out there. I certainly would not go past that. See how quick it goes. It's up to my... Almost up to my waist. We are doing some daytime striped bass surf fishing with the yellow DOS female out today. Wow, that's a wild one. He was wow. Yeah, so he jumped out right in that whitewash. Oh boy, I wish I had that. Is he a little bigger? He seems to be getting those little schoolies now. Wow. Tight, tight fishing. Hey, okay. meal green day. A little bit of a chill in the air, but beautiful sun out. What a beautiful moon show. Let's get a look at him. Oh, he's one of those bigger guys. Is he? Oh, okay. We got tremendous forces down there. Be careful on the surf, please. Yeah, they're running a little short now. Even when that water comes up, you're playing with that fish. It's dangerous to be on top of the jetty. Actually, you gotta be careful. That's probably one of the hardest places to safely release a fish. It's up on rocks. I don't know how you can really get a fish safely back. I'm not a big jetty guy myself. But the dynamics of a fish release is really difficult. Especially to do it safely. Oh! Come on, come on. Get in. See how quick that water comes up. Zoom right away. I like it here. We've got three tiers of waves out there. That's great. One, two, three. Let's see something in here. Fish this a little bit. Wow. He was right on the outside of that lid. Look at him boil. Wow. Tight. Here we got a three bar setup right here with a point. Really nice water. I think wherever you go, those striped bass are all over the place. Find a good zone. Have fun. Have at it. 
might be nighttime to see some bigger fish. Yellow, yellow, you know, today. jumping now I know he's gonna swim away so the way it's been set up the way I've been the way it's been set up the way I've been getting them this is good water for it now those smaller fish seem to be tight on the lip there's still keeper fish too but I seem to be pulling out those keepers a little more on the end of the cast and uh if you're looking for really fast action definitely try a season uh definitely we're not going to use them. We're just having fun. Oh, look, there's someone down there. He's a little bigger. Tight, tight, tight. going into the dust. I'm using the yellow minnow. I like the yellow thing. I'm sticking with it. Let's get it more on the 40. That's the sunset. Striped bass fishing here. Yellow Daiwa SP minnow. But the Daiwa SP minnow definitely did the job again. Gonna be getting out of here in the sun, walking away in the sunset. Really nice, tight, tight, tight fishing. I think I missed about six fish, maybe more. And uh, actually using dollar hooks, which is what I want to do because we're gonna, with dull hooks, if you get lucky, I'm just gonna hit those bigger fish. But, uh, with this guy's oh, he's one of those stronger guys. Alright. Thanks for watching. The water's getting big now.